CataractCoach.com. We've got pre-chop variations here. Guest surgeon, Dr. Yuan Lin from Casablanca, Morocco. So here's the Akahoshi pre-chopper from our friend Taka Akahoshi from Japan. Fantastic guy. With the eye full of viscoelastic, placing this inside the eye, you dig into the nucleus and it splits the nucleus for you. Just like that. You can rotate the lens and split it even again. So the pre-chopper, for sure, a neat technique. Thankful to Taka for the great invention. Now with a nucleus split, we can put the probe inside the eye. There's the chopper. And this device makes it easy to have two nuclear halves created instantly. You could even do quarters. Now the nucleus can be rotated. And in this situation, there are the two separated hemi-nuclear pieces. One can be aspirated here, brought up to the iris plane with high vacuum. And then this chopper here on the other hand will just chop it into bits. Works beautifully. So that's the Akahoshi pre-chopper. Now the downside is a special instrument. You got an extra step in there. You have to do it under viscoelastic. So after you do hydro dissection, you may have to replenish the viscoelastic in the anterior chamber to keep it inflated. But the good part is very little energy. Now here's pre-chop with just two choppers. So now Dr. Lin's placing two choppers inside the eye, digging into the nucleus and pulling apart. And now he can create two halves with just two choppers. No additional instrumentation required. Faco probe is now being placed inside the eye. Here comes the phaco probe. You also notice a different kind of uh, draping here technique. So there's certainly plenty of betadine being used on the lid margin, but uh, the way we prefer it is to isolate the eyelid margin as well as the lashes. There's the two nuclear halves. And then the, we can aspirate out some of this anterior cortex, buzz into the one nuclear half, bring it up to the iris plane, chopper will go around it, and that works pretty well. It can be now sub-chopped into little pieces. So here's another different type of pre-chop. So pre-chop with two choppers. All that pre-chop means is you chop it before sticking the phaco probe in the eye. Hence the word pre-chop. Now here's pre-chopping with a chopper and a 27 gauge cannula. And this is something you've already seen on Cataract Coach. For many of my residents, I will go ahead and do this type of pre-chopping ahead of time before they put the phaco probe in the eye. For a junior resident, let me break the cataract up into pieces before you even insert the phaco probe. It's kind of like for a young child where you say, let me cut up this food ahead of time, and then you can just use the fork here and eat the pieces. So similar concept. Split the nucleus here with the chopper and the 27 gauge cannula. And now the next step, Dr. Lin even does pre-chop with just the capsular rexus forceps and the chopper. No additional instrumentation and no wasting of time or steps just placing that same capsule forcep in the eye. The forcep tips are holding the nucleus still. The chopper is doing the work. You can see how that works. Beautiful. Well, it looks great. Splitting the nucleus into halves. And this can be repeated if need be to split it into even quadrants. So clearly to split a nucleus, to pre-chop, you just need to have two instruments in the eye, and they can be almost any instruments you want. Or you can use the Akahoshi pre-chopper specialized instrument. Here's the end of the case, looking good. Easy IA cortex removal, and end of the case. Check out cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. You can submit your video, click on the link. We would love to learn from you. I'll edit your video, I'll give you credit, and I'll do the voiceover. Check it out.